We do um, energy auditing of homes and buildings. And uh, in this case, we worked at the uh, working on the Two Editors Inn, dating to the 1830s, was named to honor Pulteney's connection to two pioneering newspaper publishers, Horace Greeley and George Jones. This Greek revival home appears to be in its original condition. It's noted for its monumental columns anchoring an open slate porch. Today, the Two Editors Inn is maintained by Green Mountain College for its visitors. Well, first of all, one of the things I love the most about this project is that it has student involvement from the very beginning uh, and will continue to have student involvement. Students made a proposal funding for the audit and that was successful and that proposal was voted on by the students that sit on the student campus grant fund. And students will be involved afterwards as well with calculating energy analysis um, in quantitative classes. So it's, it's really been great to have students involved from the very beginning. This project is, is really made possible from the Green Revolving Loan Fund that we have here on campus. This is a pool of $30,000 that's used for energy projects. It can be either energy efficiency, it can be renewable energy installations, but the key is that it has a more or less guaranteed return on the investment. So you'll recoup the money that was originally lent out within five to 10 years. The, the easiest uh, money is going to be based on the air sealing. So in the sense that um, if you can find the cracks and gaps and seal those up, you can save a tremendous amount of the heat energy that's used to that's essentially being lost. So first and foremost, air sealing, and then it's typically adding insulation. In the basement, uh, we're using a coral foam. It's a closed cell spray applied foam. There's two parts to this chemistry as it meets, it reacts, releasing a blowing agent, which creates um, essentially a plastic with millions of bubbles in it, which has a tremendous insulation. I see this um, project taking place uh, as a way to slowly um, pick off the outlying buildings that we have on campus and try to make them models of energy efficiency. And Two Editors Inn was a great place to start. Uh, some insulation higher insulation in the attic and insulation around the basement and insul installation of a cold climate heat pump, we can make it a model for energy efficiency for old buildings, which we have a lot of in Vermont. Typically we see a, I would say about 30% reduction in costs associated with this work. So um, over time, the, the paybacks are you know, just fantastic. The real special part was it was a building on and it was actually one of the more historic buildings. So it was really nice to be a part of that and see the change. 
uh, actually happen because a lot of the times home audits are way too expensive and people don't actually follow through with them.